I've been thinking a lot about my fall garden. So I'm over here by the high tunnel, by high tunnel one. I think I might do some planting over here as well, but I'm gonna plant some in the high tunnel and I've got a few seeds started. I've actually got some buckets of compost down here on the ground behind me. Those are some mulberry trees over there. There's a, one of them's Pakistani or Shangri-La. I lost track of them. All of one kind died and only one or two of the other. And another is one that Glenn from How to Garden sent me. It's called the world's best. It's a Thailand variety. But anyway, um, I want to do a little bit of planting. So let's go in the high tunnel. I recently ordered some more seeds. Some of these are seeds that I've had for a while, but I recently ordered some more. So be looking for that video, but I'm going to plant in here. I've also got some cutting started. These are some Arbor Vitae. Uh, that's what these are over here. This is a 50 tree i think so there's if all of these do root there will be 54 arbor vitae and i've never actually tried it before so this is a first try some of these are quite small uh, but we'll see what happens and i've actually got some forsythia down here that i cut off my neighbors i asked my neighbor if i could have some thank you jill if you're watching and then i'm gonna look for some other things to propagate as well that's in addition to the comfrey i just propagated a bunch more of it and then i've got all these jerusalem artichokes i'm gonna probably try to sell some of those and then some other things too I've got plenty of fig up in the front yards so i might do some cuttings off of that as well um, and then some more mulberries and some other things but uh, right now we're planting uh, this over here is black seeded simpson and then there's another kind over here what is this this is paris island over here and these are calabrese broccoli i'm gonna try some intensive square foot gardening with the square foot gardening you can put four of these that are the cut and come again lettuce four of these in a square foot. So I'm gonna put it over here between this stuff. But before I put that over there, I'm going to put this compost over here. So if you've been following our channel very long, then you know that we're still trying to figure things out, including and especially in this high tunnel, we're trying to figure out how to grow in here. Kind of a new thing for us. Also trying to work toward no-till gardening. I'm not there yet. I haven't done any tilling in here uh, and I don't have enough compost to do no-till yet. I don't have the cardboard or the paper to do that as well. Well, and I don't really have a resource for it, but I've got a little bit of cardboard right here and I've got a little bit of compost from my chicken compost carport over here. So I'm gonna take it and we'll put it probably between this chaya right here and this fig and this fig and that chaya over there. And that's where I'm gonna plant this lettuce. And then ultimately I'm gonna be planting that broccoli as well. And the broccoli, uh, you're supposed to have about one head uh, per square foot or one plant per square foot. It's actually better according to the resource that I looked at to do one per 18 inches so um, that's not exactly square foot gardening but it'll make it roomier for the broccoli head so I'll probably put all that just here in between these trees probably all of this lettuce over here uh, because I've only got 10 of them right now and I might do some more uh, but ultimately I put it back this way so let me get this compost on here Okay, so uh, I'm putting this compost on here quite thick. I'm actually going to uh, pick up this drip tape and put it on top of here. I'm just gonna level it out as best as I can with my hands because I've got ample space and I don't have a whole lot of lettuce started. I'm just gonna put it one foot thick, one row here, just right here next to the drip tape. Then we'll get some of this lettuce started. So this thick compost is gonna really help keep weeds out of here. I'm trying to build up the soil in here, so it's gonna really help in this area to build up the soil and make it richer. If I deal with weeds, do a lot of the work on the front end with putting this compost on here thick, plus there's some cardboard over here right next to this chaya. I don't think I got it all the way down there, but if I do this uh, work on the front end, then it's gonna make it that much better, that much richer, and then we're gonna get all these weeds out of here eventually. It's just gonna take some time, and like I said, I don't know what I'm doing very well yet, 
but I will. Uh, so I really appreciate you sticking with us. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel and you would like to, then we'd encourage you to do that. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and select all so you never miss the notification and keep coming back because we're going to keep doing more videos and we're going to be learning alongside of you. So uh, we're really excited about that. Let me get this lettuce from over here. So I tried something new with these. I use these Jiffy pots, these Jiffy pellets. Uh, so this is just peat moss and it comes like this. It's all dry. You put it in water and then it starts to look like this. These are a little bit more expensive. These cost about 10 cents each, um, or give or take, uh, but they're so easy. I don't have to put the mix in there. It's kind of air pruning these, uh, these roots on here as well. The only reason you see so many roots on this side is because it was touching over here on this other side. So this side over here was where the air, where it wasn't touching any other soil. And then this side over here was where it was touching the other one. And the same thing you see over here versus over here, they were touching and they were growing into each other. It really couldn't be simpler. Just gonna make a hole and we'll do one on either side of this and put that soil around it. Done. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. This lettuce is this cut and come again lettuce. So uh, whenever we start harvesting it, we can just harvest some leaves off of every one of them and make us a salad. And I've only got 10 of them here. I'll probably start some more. didn't know how they were doing. Uh, these others didn't do quite so well, but they're a whole head lettuce. Uh, this is again, this cut and come again. So maybe ask yourself why we're farming this tight of quarters because we've got plenty of space here we've got 150 acres we only use probably about you know 20 of that acres and a lot of that's in pasture but why are we putting it so tight one of the reasons is uh, we don't have to worry about uh, weeding everywhere uh, but we can weed here and when you plant things a little thicker like this then it helps with weed suppression because the plants will come up and they'll drown out the weeds around it a little bit I mean you do have to weed uh, even with this thick compost we'll have to weed some uh, but it's going to make it that much easier anyway that's it um, i've got this broccoli i might do that in another video uh, and we're going to plant some more seeds soon for the fall garden uh, i'm not sure how great this lettuce is going to do in here because it gets super hot in this high tunnel in the winter time when the sun's up i'm talking 90 100 degrees you got to open the sides up even whenever it's 30 20 outside but uh, we're learning we're figuring this out and we might plant some more outside as well but maybe we'll have some lettuce from our own garden with our own compost uh, we do appreciate you being here we want you to come back as much as you can until the next time thanks Thank you.